So today we're doing a random how-to video. I know it's 2017 and for whatever reason you're still rocking the Intel Pentium E5400 Core 2 Duo processor and you just happen to have it paired with the P5QEM motherboard, then this video is for you. Now the E5400 chip was released back in first quarter of 2009, Jesus that's like 8 years ago. And it can be overclocked to a whopping 4.6 GHz. But that's probably going to require some aftermarket cooling components. And I don't know if you want to put that much money into a PC that's 8 years old. In this video, we're going to push it up to 3.6 GHz, which with just stock cooling fans, it shouldn't get too much higher than 60 degrees C during a full load. So. Here it is. So you're gonna click on whatever button you need to click to get into the BIOS setting. In my case, it was the delete key. So once you do that, you're gonna go into AI Tweaker and you're gonna scroll down to CPU ratio setting. Right now it says auto. Okay, we're gonna change that to 13.5 and right below it, you're gonna change the front side bus setting to 266. You want to leave everything else where it is and scroll further down you want to adjust the CPU voltage now this may vary depending on what power supply you're using I found 1.35 to be the optimal setting in my case what happened was the VLC player when playing a 1080p 60 frames per second video it'll skip every couple of seconds and when I turn the voltage down to 1.35 it started playing just fine so that is one way to find if your performance is good I guess okay now you can change the DRAM voltage if you're still having problems after you tweak the voltages up and down um, when I was running at 1.34 I believe or 1.36 bumping up the DRAM voltage did help but when I found the optimal CPU voltage the DRAM voltage was fine just left that auto okay okay once you're done with that you want to save and exit wait till it reboots And you want to get back into settings and you want to double check to see if all the settings took place. Go on the CPU configuration and you can see right here the frequency should have changed to 3.6. Okay. And once you're done, save and exit again and you're gonna restart the computer. As you can see, once your computer starts up, you will see your frequency has changed and you will definitely notice an improvement. Now, the reason I wanted to overclock my PC was because I wanted to edit some 1080p videos and it was just impossible at that speed. Now, with the overclock, it does help. You can edit maybe 720p 60 frames per second which is an improvement under something really low resource intensive like a windows movie maker but anything outside of that it's you're not going to be able to really scrub through the video and and edit things okay